Alrighty here, we are going to do another trig problem. And let's talk about a ramp. And this idea of a handicap ramp, because it's got a, a special limit. Handicap ramp has to be five degrees or less. And that would be down here kind of thing. Okay? So we want to know, let's say we have an 80 inch board. Yep, 80 inch, not 80 feet. An 80 inch ramp, and we've got to go up, let's say 10 inches to make this handicap ramp. Our job right now is to see is that legal? What angle does that create? So let's see, we have the opposite, we have the hypotenuse that makes us use sine. So sine of x equals opposite over hypotenuse. Awesome. Okay, now solve for x. Sine x is a, is a thing all in of itself. It's not sine times x. It's sine of x. It's just a button on the calculator, just like plus is a button, minus is a button, times is a button. So we have to undo it by doing the other button. Just like in, if you're undoing a plus, you press the minus button. If you undo a multiply, you press the divide button. So to undo the sine, here's sine, we would have to do get an undo button. So that would be the inverse or the second on some calculators. Watch what happens to this button when I press this. It becomes something else. That something else is going to cancel sine. So, uh, so that is called sine inverse. So I want to sine inverse the left side in order to cancel out the sine going to do that. And if I sign inverse the left side, I have to sign inverse the right side. So that will leave me x equals sine inverse of 10 over 80. Now it's just a calculator because we've got a bunch of numbers. Awesome. So we get our calculator. We make sure it's in degrees. There we go. And now again, let's put it back to the original. Okay, we wanted to sign inverse 10 over 80. So I need to second or inverse, sine inverse. It says arc sine. That's just actually the name, the other name for sine inverse. I don't know why. I've looked it up, haven't really remembered. I just know it's sine, it's arc sine and sine inverse are the same. Sorry about that. Look it up if you really want to know. 10 divided by 80. Now some of you use a fraction bar to do 10 over 80, and that's exactly the same thing. So don't worry. Equals, uh, close the parenthesis, equals 7.18 degrees. So we found out that our angle is 7.18 degrees, which means that's bigger than 5. Remember, 5 was our legal limit for this. Um, so that's not a legal handicap ramp. It's a ramp. It's good for construction sites, maybe, or... A uh, temporary thing may be very temporary, um, but it's not a legal handicap ramp because it's not the five. So that is how you solve for an angle. We're using the sine inverse. Again, it's just a button. It's a button on the calculator. Some call it an inverse function. Some calculators call it a second function. So find that on your calculator.